So we are going to go for a very wide boxy fantasy today. Sean is like, let me make that wish list now. I do need, I do have some things I want to buy though, so I'm going to start looking on the Amazon outlet or the Amazon clearance website. I can't remember what it was, but uh, I don't care if the box opened. It's new to me is what I say. So like GameStop had a, re- a pretty good sale on their used video games, which is buy two, get one free. But I mean, they're still really expensive. And then what I need to buy is I need a microwave. I need a microwave for the house. I need a microwave for the office too. And maybe a cure egg would be nice. Ooh, maybe I should buy a cure egg for the Omnicom. And a cure egg. But I like my coffee cold. That's too much effort. That is way too much. Really? You guys saw I use clear gel right gel to apply. I call it my poor man Starbucks. Have you seen that I have my little poor man Starbucks cup here? And I make my own Starbucks. Starbucks. That's true, the poor man Starbucks. But they do have some pretty good flavors of coffee creamers. Like I got the cinnamon roll one. And then they have a Snickers one. I've been curious to try that. From International Delight or which one? I'm not sure. Oh, I've seen the the cold stone one. And then I have the French vanilla from Trader Joe's. And I think I saw a birthday cake one, but they all kind of at the end of the day taste the same, I feel like. Dolce de leche. Really? Chatter. You know the thing though is when like those ch- chains sell like sauces or, or drink mixes, they don't taste the same as they do in their stores. Like Panda Express had no um, Panda Express has like um, yeah they sell them in bottles and they do not taste anything like what the real thing is. Amanda said, "Hey Max, hi Miss Amanda." Hi, Max. Recently bought the XXLs and I want to do something on them in remembrance of my mom. Do you other girls have any idea, please? Well, what reminds you of your mom? I should, I would think that would be probably the most appropriate thing. If she loved purple, then I would do the purple. I just got fat dissolving injections in my jowls. LOL. Well, good for you. I need them all over my body. I have a frozen Benihana, but I haven't tried it yet. Well, if you got fat dissolving injections, don't you be eating no frozen Benihana. But more than likely, it won't taste like Benihana. Like the frozen Pia Chains. It doesn't taste anything like it. Look at that, that's all the filing I have to do. Easy peasy. So now let's buff the entire surface of the nail. And even at regular stores, like if you want to make a fat, like a cool, like coffee drink, like a poor man's Starbucks, as I call them, Starbucks has like 50,000 like syrups that they put and they pump into their drinks, like for their secret menus. This is a secret that we're using. It's called Big Phone. Let's just keep it really random because that's the theme for this design. So like at regular stores they don't sell no marshmallow syrup flavor. Maybe on Amazon they do. Actually I would be surprised. I don't think even Amazon would have something like that. Or maybe, I don't know. Put these sexy lips, sexy juicy red lips. 
on here. shooting and I honestly have no idea what that is. That's like one of the, as you guys know I love politics, that's one of the things I have not followed at all. So I have no idea what it is but I'm glad it's over. So now we can go back to our regularly scheduled programming. But my new obsession is um, Wife Swap. I love Celebrity Wife Swap. I've been watching that. And then um I've also seen in the past the Australian, I've seen the Australian Wife Swap and I've seen the British Wife Swap UK Celebrity, Celebrity Wife Swap UK. So beautiful, I don't do coffee, I have a tea drinker, never acquired a taste for coffee. And they claim there's more caffeine in tea than in coffee, but coffee's so darn good. Put a little geisha on here. A little geisha fantasy. But I do like um, some English breakfast tea with non-dairy milk and sugar. Or some chai tea. So delicious. But I think coffee is also very much a cultural thing, especially in America, because if you guys know the history, the history of America, we drink coffee because it makes us more separated from our British ancestry. They are a tea people. And that's why we had the Boston Tea Party, because we took all that tea and we threw it in the thing and we said, we're going to drink coffee, gosh darn it. What? Really? Really? Was it funny? Sometimes I feel like the British versions of things are, are, are pretty good though, are better. But that's because they also have a really different sense of humor though. Really? Well, it's not proper because it depends also where they're coming from, though, too. Are you one of those girls that loves a guy that has a British accent? Really? And he's... Ugh. He's a pig. He treats um, posh spice really poorly. gel stickers. These are made out of our famous reflective flash glitter gels, but they're in a sticker form, so these are selling really well, too. They're so much fun. No, just silver. See, so stickers like our white squares, what they do is they add dimension and they fill in the gaps and just create a more cohesive design for the fantasy. Donde están los cuadros blancos? Here they are.
Yes, that video is so, so... I know some of those lines by heart. She's not a Christian. I don't want anything ungodly doing anything with my family. If you believe in Jesus, you can stay. Get out. I don't want this check. It's tainted. I don't want anything tainted doing anything with my family. I love... Her name is Margaret. Dance Mob. I have not seen Dance Mob. And Homegirl loves a guy with an accent. I feel like a lot of North American women. I don't know if their accent thing is the same for men, though. I don't know if men go Google Gaga for a woman with an accent. But I am excited for the Netflix... No, not Netflix, I like Hulu movie about Pamela Anderson, because I love Pamela Anderson. I'm so lucky I grew up no loving the blonde bombshell look. Like Pamela Anderson and Nicole Smith, the big blonde hair, the big blonde bosom. Um, I don't think Baywatch is a show that you really like pay attention to. Oh. It was just a, a vehicle for Pamela Anderson to show off her body. And they say in real life he's actually really nice. Yes, Gabriella was Zena's like sidekick. So we are going to do two coats of gel top coat. Remember, you always want to do two coats of gel when you're going to seal stickers. Before we do that, we're going to take our little silicone tool, press everything down, make sure there's no lumps or bumps, keep her nice and smooth for the fantasy. Just like that. And then our first coat of top coat is going to be shiny. Because these nails are clear, I want them really Cinderella glass slipper like, so a nice coat on the inside to really make nails super transparent. Look at that, lovely, so shiny. And then we're going to use from the glitter set Star Power, we're going to use the berry color one. Love me some Xena. 
I actually remember having the catalog. <laughs> the Xena Warrior Princess and Hercules catalog. But I had the catalog. My mom was not gonna buy me some Xena or Hercules memorabilia. But I had the catalog. With the big heavy set lady? The heavy set lady could see the spirits or the or the other lady could see the spirits? And I remember Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Dr. Quinn Medicine and Kung Fu, I remember Kung Fu too. Walker, Texas Ranger. Really? They shot that show in Dallas, Texas. Really? That is funky monkey that goes on right there. My mom says these nails are very jean ass. Dr. Bounty Hunter, but that was more in the 2000s, though. <laughs> I still can't get over Beth Dunn. Let's break that for 30 seconds. My husband loves Jane, Jane Seymour, and she was, she's British, and she was really pretty when she was young. I think she was a Bond girl. I remember when being a Bond girl was a big deal. Now it's like, I have no idea who the Bond girls are. I think the last one I remember was Halle Berry. But like back in the day, you had like really big name women being a Bond girl. So now we're going to do a coat of Dom top, which is our big hard gel top coat to really encapsulate everything inside. And you want to float this coat on. Beverly Hills 90210 and Allie McBeal. I have one cousin who was obsessed with Allie McBeal. That's how thin she wanted to be. Those are real goals. Yes. Is the new version out already? I know when I went to Universal Studios earlier this year, they were shooting it there. Let's turn it upside down and let it self level out. Bye, don't party too much. Are these larger than the Extreme Square or come in a larger? They are much longer than Extreme Square. If you watch yesterday's video, you can see the comparison. Look at that. So beautiful. Now let's make this for one minute. Don't forget to sprinkle this video, you guys. Let everybody know we're live. I look so cool in the lamp. She's so smooth, too. I love this length. Let me know in the comments below if you love the, long, the newer Maximum Square Nails. And if you're excited for the Maximum Stiletto, let me know, too. We're going to finish, of course, with a nice cuticle oil bath.
if it doesn't fit your thumb, I have videos on how to apply them on the bigger phalanges. Just look at this. This is a zero on my big old man hand and it fits on mine, so you should be good. so we can see those flash stickers. Is it on? Yes. Look at the flash sticker, how cool and reflective it is. Thanksgiving! Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little fun little demo. And what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for choosing American companies like EnoBitour.com and supporting us and making us grow so that way we can keep on coming out with incredible new products like the new Maximum Square 123 Doll. And what can I say? Stay safe, stay out of trouble. I know that's hard for some of us. And I'll see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.